Hello once again and welcome back to the Darkest Dungeon, in which we are on the high from having beaten yet another boss and we are still cowering like cowards away from having to do the profit. But what we're trying to do is reduce as many people's stress as possible so that we can send them off to do the profit. And therefore what I'm going to do, in order to allow people to have another week of chillaxing, chilling out, relaxing, and of maxing all cool, don't forget. Uh, is to send them same party off again to do the same mission again except a different boss now this boss is the unstable flesh honestly pretty much doesn't matter in my experience of which I have quite little what your party is like as long as you have a healer and some DPS which is what we've got don't forget to do this there we go everyone's got the same trinkets that they started with which works out well for us because usually having Erasmus do that, uh, Martinez in this case, doing that thing first, boom, headshot, everyone's dead. Now level 4 of course, with level 4 everything, so it's going to be even more powerful. Zeke still has level 3 armor, that's fine. Zeke is quite capable of taking care of themselves. But we have level 4 of these. Level 4 armor, level 4 important ones, level 4 armor. Some spattering of levels in this situation, but that is also fine. Kind of tempted to just turn this off and do that because I have never used this. And I feel like I should, but also I don't want to. So I'm not going to. Let's just straight up provision. We know what we're doing. We're going to do some deeps against the boss. We've got a grave robber, so we don't need to have three of those. This was more than enough food last time, but I'm not going to take the uh, risk. We didn't really get any blights, come to think of it. We did resist a couple. But at the same time, now I'm thinking about it, I every time I got a bleed, I just ignored it. But I'm not sure what the boss does, so I'm going to take a couple anyway. And I'm just hoping that anything that happens beyond that, Zeke can help with. Uh, we don't have enough money to take enough torches, so I'm actually going to take less food and more torches. Probably like that. This key I'm hoping to give us a bunch of benefit. And this I'm hoping to just find anything on the way that will help. But uh, frankly... I have nothing to say. Let's just go. I could not store such a prodigious amount of offal, nor could I rid myself of it easily, possessed as it was by unnameable things from outer spheres. When excavations beneath the manor broke through into an ancient network of aqueducts and tunnels, I knew I had found a solution to the problem of disposal. So... The thing is more terrible than I can describe. An incoherent jumble of organ, sinew, and bone. Yes, I've seen it. So, it seems to me that the lore is that he was doing some experiments and he chucked it down into these sewers here. And it all went to shit. Let's just not touch that. Uh, it all went gross and it has become, uh, <laughs> to some extent, sentient. So there's a battle. Look, the boss is three rooms away. One, two, three. Again, you've struck lucky. It's only the ruins that has such a impenetrable layout that you can't get to the boss within a few rooms. So again, we've struck lucky. Uh, there's a trap, which you knew about. Just chill. Uh, we struck lucky on the path to the boss, although we do have to beat one or two battles on the way, but we're doing really well at these, especially when they become surprise. We remember to set our default party order so that when we move move on, we can actually press that button without screwing everything up. We should lunge against the thing that we are actually likely to kill, which is probably this, of all things. Now, this, these are worse enemies, but having just one thing not doing anything, well, we could have done it against anything. Look, it's better up front to do the thing that you think is going to be most valuable for you afterwards, right? You don't you don't start an entire mission like this on the gamble that you're going to do a massive crit and kill something that has a huge amount of HP. What you do is you make sure everything remains stunned and completely out of action where possible. Didn't happen. Uh, Alright, you stun it then. And you focus fire on the things that you are most likely, for fuck's sake, most likely to, you know, actually successfully take out of the equation, which is what we did do. So we've reduced the damage incoming to us for now. This is not great. Less dodge, just 
just a mark. And a good dodge. Brilliant. You've dodged a lot of those in this episode and the previous. Stop it. Don't forget we brought... Um, yeah. We've still got Erasmus... Uh, Martin. We've still got Nimbus. So... Anyone gets a disease, we'll cure it. And if they don't, we have that little bit of extra time to actually deal with stuff. Which is also great. More damage versus human. Less pro on this. 28 damage. 28 damage. Excellent. Having crit that first one, of course, everything is closer. Which does make a big difference. Uh, I think we can just probably just crush. I do like using Retribution. I think I'll use it a lot on the boss. Because in this case, the boss is not going to be offended if we kill parts of it. Uh, in fact, it's just one long boss. So you can't kill individual parts. Which is fine. Uh, Zeke is a bit injured. But mostly I think we just sort of... Because this heals us a little bit as well. It's pretty cool. And it gets rid of an enemy. So I'm perfectly happy to do so. Doing well. This is a good start. I usually think of the Warrens as being one of the harder things, but I think one of the reasons the ruins has been difficult is not only because of the things that you find there do a lot of stress, but we've taken people who have been... Ooh, these are pretty nice. Um, susceptible to stress in the ruins. So it's, it's just sent us over the edge. We've not been able to cope with it. But honestly, the fact that you have to be so specific in your party setup in order to deal with the profit at the end, it can make it quite difficult to actually get to the profit in the first place. So we're going to have to think about that. And the people I left behind, you know, chilling out. Do we really want to camp here? The people I left behind chilling out were people I want to take on the mission to try um, a different tactic. Like, having a combination of a party that is both able to beat the boss, but also able to beat the rest of the rooms, well, it's what I've wanted, but I haven't figured out how until, uh, until I looked at the tactics. Some, some ideas about the tactics. So I'm just sort of going here. I'm filling in time, to be honest. Trying to make it worth putting the time in to do the, the, the camp. Oh, I've done it wrong. Well, my mistake. I forgot to press the button. You know what? Can we stun this? Some chance. Great. That's exactly what I wanted to do. Now we can do a lunge again, but at this stage, we have got ourselves into a position where we can do some decent amount of damage to that. Which is basically going to be this. 23. Um, so I think we're going to try some new tactics with the people we have available. And just sort of hope that it, it works out. And of course, being able to hit the back is quite important. But if we can get the extra cash out of beating up the, the pews during that boss fight, we're going to feel a little bit better about the whole situation, to be honest. Damage versus human could be enough. Not quite enough, but I'm okay with it. Uh, I will retribution you and kill this. Because that, that is absolutely a kill plus right there. We were so close to killing that. This will activate on this Joker's consistent annoyings. Not quite enough there. We can't rely on a crit every time. In fact, I've tried not to rely on a crit any time. But we have had a crit when I was absolutely not relying on one. And we could have. So, yeah, that's what we like to see. And then this Joker's going to do a... Can you hit that? No, but you can mark it. Which is fine. Because now you're going to get retributed. And crit! Whoa! That was a great crit. Uh, mostly we just do this. <laughs> Whatever, right? Um, I mean, having Marty is actually quite able to hit the back with the thrown dagger, which is great versus mark. So a marking... I'm just... I'm just running through it myself, thinking, you know, let's say we had Pete with the the ability, there's so much food here, it's great, Pete with the ability to damage things, to, to reduce the damage that the Prophet will do, 
A unit that will mark, say, e.g. DT here. Especially if DT levels up, that will be good. A marking unit and Marty here. In fact, if we had this, except instead of Megistos, we had Pete. Because Pete does have a mark as well. So maybe instead of DT, we have Pete. Then we can do this dancing around. We can use the marking synergy that... Oh, you have damage against, but you can't hit the back. And you also can't hit the back? You can hit the back. But mostly what we'll be saying is that the mark for death will be constantly increasing the amount of damage that the... That, uh, that Martinez can do to the Prophet. But if we've already got a mark on Pete, perhaps we don't need to worry Back to the pit. about having DT here, because although DT can use the mark, he can't hit the back. These are both 7 to 15, so I guess it doesn't matter. Be gone, be gone. <coughs> so... I'm thinking maybe taking Marty and some decent amount of marks is might be the way forward. Especially if we can mark and reduce the damage as well. And then we can use Megistos to tank some of the damage as well. Have a high amount of dodge on Marty here. Excuse me, what? No, no, no. Ah, deal with it. Um, now, do I want to use... <laughs> Do I want to use this key? I'm going to say no. Kind of want the money. It's all about the money. Now I'm wishing I camped. <laughs> uh, let's get rid of these. Take the money. I'm not too concerned about the crests, although because we, we tend to have a shitload of them. And I'm not too concerned about the fact I'm about to sneeze, but I will sort of pause for a second and do so. <coughs> uh, oh. 3, 2, 1, you're back in the room. We can save our key. Might as well camp here. Go and do the boss. Use our key on the way back from the boss and a hope for the best. Less stress could be okay. The I think it's worth it. We did get some extra food on the way here. We've freed up another slot, which is also nice. No one's got any diseases for once. Uh, I think, honestly, we just do this thing that we did before where we have... More accuracy and crit on DT. Well, we did this, didn't we? Everyone gets damage and crit. Might get crit. So we'll do that. One person gets more dodge and speed. So this is making me think that maybe we do take Megistos into the Prophet. And we put dodge and speed on Marty. Again. Right? Bear with me. Then Marty can dodge Falling Rock. Megistos can guard somebody else against Falling Rock. Uh, or maybe we just have to tank one. And the Falling Rock won't do much damage at all after a couple of rounds. Uh, we've got five minutes left. So we might as well do that. And like just reduce some of your stress I suppose. Try and even out the stress that we've got to deal well, maybe not been a great idea. We will probably want to make sure one person had no stress and only one person had to go in for treatment, but I'm not sure how much stress we're likely to get. And we may get uh may get ambushed right now. Radiance, we didn't. May we find we might have been. So this'll be the boss, unless that's the boss. In which case I've completely screwed up. No, that's further away, so it's almost certainly the boss. Uh let's do this. <coughs> Cough a little bit. Stop talking, open the sack. Bit of cash, no worries. For a task well performed. No combat, please. <sighs> you guys, though. All right, well, we'll take out. It's a strong chance that we take out any of these, but this is a bigger chance. So we'll do that. Okay. No worries. Then we will. Do as much damage as we can to one of these. Then we will retribution against this. I was kind of hoping to crit. Not too bothered though. I mean, it would have been nice. 
This does one to four, but we might as well just do the one that is some guaranteed damage. Take that one out of the equation. So we kill two things before they even get a go, which is great. Slice and dice will be retributed against. They do some damage, but okay. Blanket fire will be retributed against. Everyone dodged it, and you get punched, so... <laughs> not a good idea. You just did that. Exposed to a killing blow. Exposed to a killing blow. No, no, no. No one was exposed to a killing blow. Oh, you got crit, that's why. Just hit it. Great. And then Zeke gets a go. Well, all you can do is this. Then Zeke gets a go. Then Z All you can do is this as well. <laughs> Fair enough. And then if this gets a go, it's dead. Uh, we will part a heal. Only fives, that's okay. Part a heal, part a foul. Uh, have you got pro- No. Just do it. If Marty gets to throw a dagger first. He didn't. Game over. Cool. We win some money. The money is fine. Success we go back so into order. Or is it merely a trick of the light? My entire room is vibrating right now. I don't know if you can hear it. Maybe you can. I think someone's pulling up nearby. That's the problem with doing things in the real life world. Alright, so this one does healing. This one does damage, and I think this one has high protection. Yeah, 8% protection. Less protection. This one has no protection, but you can see it has the skill of Sanguine Stroke. Uh, doesn't... It sounds dirty. It's not dirty. It's just a healing skill. This one is doing... Uh, these ones can stun us, and this one's going to do bleeding damage to us. So what we want to do is as much damage to the one that is as soft as possible as possible. Holy shit. <laughs> I mean, honestly, I expect this to be a pretty easy fight. I think like if that's your normal thing, I'm okay with it. I'm okay with it. So we could reduce the prot on this, which I think is a good idea. Maybe we just do this. Oh, we can't throw a dagger at that, can we? No. We can throw a dagger at anything else. But don't forget that these things will morph at some point. So we need to consider that. Pass. Can't do anything. Probably can't attack us from the back. So that is actually very fine. Uh, we could stun... It doesn't tell you which ones have been, which is kind of a pest. I do want to move forwards, but also we could st stun this with a Shadow Fade instead, which gives us some dodge, which might help. So I think I'll just activate Repost now and get some damage done on the squishy bits. Which allows us to spread out a lot more damage over time. Okay, so that thing can hit us from the third position, but not from the fourth. And this is going to be a situation where we're relying on getting some good party heals all the time. So it has changed, and this is a... Okay, we've got a blighty one with, again... A reasonable amount of protection. And annoyingly, they... You know, this changes underneath... Ooh. Yeah, this changes underneath us, so... I guess we try and stun... This one. Because now this one has several deep... Right, it works, yeah. Has several debuffs. Which... DT will work well with. For example, marked and human or stunned. So 50% versus stunned is not as good as 90% versus marked. Minus the protection. Some good damage there. Probably should have checked against these ones, but they had 40... Ooh, you won't want to drink something. The repost is fine. We did resist the bleed. Um, we're taking more damage than I'm happy with. Which is a problem, to some extent. 4 to 9. I think it might be a good idea to maybe try and defend somebody. How many turns have you got left? It's annoying, I don't know. Uh, one round. We'll probably just keep this up. That's going to be the target for now, because it's marked, etc. And you're going to need this much healing, I'm afraid. Which is annoying, because it means that everybody else doesn't get a bit. We can hit that, so I will. Don't worry about it. Nine, whatever. Marty, throw a dagger. Had that been that, that would have been tremendous, but unfortunately it was not. Uh, you can finish this, 8 to 17, or you can collect bounty on this, which is also 8 to 17, and honestly, I literally think it makes no difference. So let's just crit that. No worries. So this is just going to be a case of... Keep it up. You know, make sure that we are not 8 to 19. Uh, completely shitting the bed on it, on HP mostly, because these things can. Like, that mores of life. 
with more bleed on him. Time to use a bandage, which I'm glad I brought because I was half expecting there to be exactly these attacks. Um, I mean, maybe we want to stun one of these. Can we? What's your stun resist? 70, 110. Why is your stun resist so much higher than yours? You've got 30% stun resist, but you're going to change. So... I think maybe we just do some damage to this as much as... Another huge crit. So this is actually going really, really well, mostly because of these crits. So this party, with its stupendous amount of crit, apart from Zeki, by the way, uh, it's really doing really well. I'm happy with it. Please resist the bleed. Yeah, you do. Oh, yes, squishy ones. And the squishy one is marked. Was marked. <laughs> okay, that's fine. So you're going to sort of heal each other slightly. But I think we're okay with that. I mean, they haven't healed... They've healed maybe one of the attacks that we did at all so far. You resisted that blight, and this is 12 more damage, so you're going to have to drink this, I'm afraid. Um, <clears throat> Honestly, I think we do this again. And the reason is that the thrown dagger from Marty here gets a bonus from it, and that's basically the only reason I did that. It's going to last a couple of rounds, though. Okay. This could be bad. We're okay for now. This needs to do well. Well enough, but we can't... We can't have that happen more often, basically. Um, we're nearly there, which is the good thing. It's just that we need to be able to hit these things. And <laughs> it's not happening, because they keep changing. That was a really low heal, which is great. I'm very pleased with it. Uh, combat debuffs, but not that, unfortunately. So, I mean, there's nothing else to give us a blight, but there is things to give us a bleed, so... Maybe we just do this. 8 to 17 versus 8 to 17. I think we just do it. 17 is a great roll. <laughs> that was, like, the max that you could have got. And you dodged it, so... Finally, they actually attack somebody who can afford to be attacked. And we're going to have to deal with DT first, because DT's got a DOT. Uh, and he's going to stun him, maybe? Oh, he dodged it. Brilliant. Uh, and we'd like to maybe not have... Megistos even get close to Death's Door, but I think we don't. We are. So there's your... Um, there's your second in Co-8 Flesh sorted out pretty easily. I'm quite happy with that. We do have some... Um, some HP left, Remind so maybe we go go a walk in. Slow and insidious killer. Um, five hundred two. We we'll take that over that. Now we continue a little bit longer because we have a key. And I'm thinking maybe we go. We didn't get any scouting. Did this have a? I think this just had a, an item in it. No, uh, shut up. Uh, we'll go, just go the short way. We may get combat, in which case we heal people. Uh, we should eat, maybe. Uh, it's just going to have to be one. I don't want to come a cropper of some annoying... Um, ooh, some annoying hunger pang on the way, on, like on the very last room, and then everyone takes a load of stress damage. Which would not surprise me if it happened. Use the torches. We can chuck everything away at this point, once we've opened what I believe is this chest down here. That's not a chest. That is the chest. What are you doing? Fine. I have clearly failed to recognize my Darkest Dungeon uh, iconography. Because that's quite clearly a chest and that is quite clearly one of those annoying things that you never touch. Pedestal or, or totem. Some description. No, I pressed W. Look. I'm pressing all the buttons. Here we go. We could keep going. Ha! Told you. Now we just have to not get another hunger pang walking in through this door. Seems unlikely, but you never know. Right, we'll open this. We'll throw away everything we didn't use. I feel it's still a good idea to have all these shovels. Even though we're not using them so much. Because if we didn't use them, we would be stressed. Not as great a haul in terms of cash. I will freely admit, but we didn't get the 
secret room. And the secret room was really what made all that work. Uh, okay, that's bad. That's fine. Not as good as that was, though, unfortunately. Well, we might have to pay to get rid of some of these foibles of some of these people. In time. You will know the tragic extent of my failings. Now the shame here is that Zeke was our healer. <laughs> we don't have we have Holmesy. Dutch has gone on a wander. Excuse me. Dutch when Dutchia went on a drunken bender and hasn't been seen since the previous evening, but is completely de-stressed. But we were relying on Dutch for being available to beat up the boss. You can advance and shoot. No, it's not going to work. We need Erasmus or Martinus, who is leveled to fuck up. God damn it. <clears throat> but we can make Erasmus work like Marty, right? Erasmus basically already works like Marty. All we need is thrown dagger and lunge, and we're golden there. But we need to upgrade them, which is a shame. So what we should think about doing maybe is sending some people on some slightly more difficult, higher level uh, money grabbing runs. So we'll think about that in the next episode, because I was going to try and get through the profit, but of course we level people up a slightly too far than I anticipated. Slightly further than I anticipated. We've still got DT, we've still got Megistos available though, and that's probably going to be key, as is Pete. So what we all, what we really need to do, and all we really need to do, is make sure that our um, DPS dealer and our healer dealer is, are up to scratch. So Pete, let's just double check here. Pete's got this one, which is uh, he hasn't, but he could have this one, which is weakening curse. Bagel's leveled up, right? Yeah. Uh, less than thirty percent damage off. The prophet presumably has some resistance to debuffs, so we're going to have to maybe upgrade that if we wanted to. And then we've got. Abyssal Artillery to hit it. I wonder if the pews are uh, Eldritch. Maybe. Less dodge is... Oh, you can mark with that. Right, so... This doesn't mark, but this does. So we ramp up this. Then we use that. We only need the mark, so we can keep this going and then put the mark back on. So every so often, there'll be a period where it's doing more damage, but that's fine. Uh, that'll be Pete's final mission before he's level 5 as well. Anyway, enough rambling. Thank you for watching. In the next episode, we will probably take some people out. Why have you just leveled up at random? We'll probably take some people out at level 5. Maybe take Ellie out to get some money. And come back and upgrade some people. Maybe send some people out at level 3. I don't know. Uh, I mean, we could easily just do a level 3 mission that isn't this one. If you can find one. There is a level 1 mission. Of course there is. Uh, or we could try and do this. But I'm scared of that as well. So, yeah. Probably do a, a level 3 mission to level some people up. And then we can send them out to the boss. Well, again. Thank you for watching this episode. I hope you enjoyed it. We've done very well on bosses recently. Despite our continued fail to do the ones that are the most difficult. And I hope that you will join me for the next episode. Don't forget. If you're enjoying the series, don't forget to subscribe because you'll be notified, probably. I don't know how it works. Uh, if I ever upload another episode again, uh, leave a like if you care to. Share it on Facebook. That would be the best thing. Uh, Google+. Plus. You know the drill. Until next episode, then. Good day.